Welcome to part three of unit two, where we will combine loops and lists from course one and previous units with graphing using the matplotlib library. In unit one, we used loops to automate several text procedures. We also used loops to draw circles with the Python turtle. Let's explore further how loops can automate the drawing process by populating a list of coordinates. In our example, we will step and repeat code to build a staircase, also known as a step function. To begin with, we define the function that will be used to generate each line. On line 1, df line or define line defines the parameters needed to create the line. The values are imported from and returned to the for loop in the main program. The line is actually a rectangle defined by the minimum xy coordinate pair and the maximum xy coordinate pair. In other words, the lower left and upper right corners of the rectangle. On line 5, the function converts these values into x and y lists and returns them to the main program. Each list is composed of the minimum value, the maximum value, and the keyword none to create a breakpoint before we start the next line. In the main program, we begin by importing the matplotlib library on line 9. Next, we set up our axes and grid. We set our axes to equal on line 11. Then, we limit the size of the graph on line 13 by listing the minimum and maximum x values and the minimum and maximum y values for the graph. This list is an optional parameter of the axis function. Watch the syntax, square brackets for the list itself, enclosed by parentheses. On line 17 and 18, we create empty lists for the x and y values. As you will see, the for loop populates these lists with each iteration. The for loop starts on line 20 with the statement for i in range 5. i is a variable and represents the index of an item in the list. Range is a Python function that generates a list of numbers. In this case, we are using it with only one parameter, the stop value. Remember that list indices start at zero. Here, our list will be zero, one, two, three, and four we will be incorporating the index value into our calculations. Now for the body of the loop. On line 22, we create one of the steps for our staircase by drawing a line. To do this, we create two list items, lx and ly, by calling our line function with the arguments 2 times i, i, 2 times i plus 2 and i. In our first iteration, i is 0. Substituting 0 for i, we get 2 times 0, 0, 2 times 0 plus 2, and 0. Or the four numbers 0, 0, 0, and 2. These four numbers satisfy the local variables ax, ay, bx, and by used in the line function. The line function returns two lists, lx, which is equal to 0, 0, none, and ly, which is equal to 0, 2, none. Now we can add these lists to our main lists on line 24 and 25. On lines 27 and 28, we are plotting both lists each time we add a new stair step. 
we could also wait and simply plot both lists after we finish building them. But plotting the list as each step is added gives us a visual confirmation of our calculations. This can be helpful when troubleshooting a program. Notice how the local variables AX, AY, BX, and BY disappear from our variables list after the function returns AX, BX, and none, as well as AY, BY, and none to the main program. Then, a new set of values for AX, AY, BX, and BY appear with the next iteration of the for loop. To summarize, lists can be populated using a for loop to add items to the lists and in turn used to plot lines or figures. If you would like to experiment with different lines, steps, or even different shapes, copy this demo code into the Python app in the Creative Suite and play with the calculations. I look forward to seeing you in our next video.